What's up guys, welcome to Transformation. My name is Patrick Blake Leeper, and I was born without legs. I was destined to spend my life in a wheelchair, but with the right mindset and with sheer determination, I now hold eight Paralympic track and field medals. Not stopping there, I'm now on a quest to become the fastest man alive and to inspire others to overcome their own limitations. Today, I'm talking with Jeremy. He hit rock bottom with his alcohol addiction, but now has turned his life around. Today, Jeremy is giving back and works as an addiction counselor himself. Welcome to Transformation. Jeremy, welcome to Transformation. Thank you so much for taking your time and joining us today. You know, I've dealt with alcoholism, you know, in my life and, and to hear your story and things that you've been able to accomplish and overcome is truly amazing. Thanks so much for having me, man. This yeah. is a pleasure. So with that being said, let's jump into it, brother. When did you start drinking? I, I was pretty young. I, uh, the first time I ever drank, uh, I was in seventh grade. I felt relaxed, I felt cool, and like I could socialize totally uninhibited. And that's, I think, where it really, really started for me, those kind of ups and downs with acclimating with, with other people socially, you know? Yeah, like at, at what point in your life do you feel like, man, this is, this is becoming a little bit too much for me. Like I'm, I'm getting a little uh, bit out of control. I probably hit and passed that point. Uh, a hundred times where, you know, it was even in middle school, I was drinking and high school, it got even worse. And after high school, the same thing, my life had completely fallen apart beyond recognition. And um, my body was starting to fail. My spirit was pretty much destroyed. And, and I, I remember thinking that if I don't change now, there, there won't be another chance. And you know, that's when I decided I, I had to give it up. And I remember I, I reached out to my mom and my dad and I told them that, you know, I was a, a full blown alcoholic, which I mean, obviously they, had, they knew already, but I had, I'd finally admitted it to myself and to them and, you know, told them that I needed, uh, I needed help. I need to, you know, go away and, and be in a place where I can't drink and I can actually try and recover and they were they were supportive my mom especially and my sister were behind me a hundred percent they knew that it was just a matter of time before I reached out and so when I finally did I think it was for them more relief than anything that finally Jeremy was gonna you know try try and quit drinking and I, I went out to treatment shortly after that yeah and and that's one thing that I realized that you know once I started my recovery path I got my relationships back Right? I started talking to my mother again. I started talking to my father again. I actually answered the phone, right? When it comes to recovery, it's, it's working the program. What does that look like for you? It's different for everybody. I think it's a matter of looking at your life as a whole and being able to break it into smaller compartments and putting attention on each of those areas equally because you know through addiction it's it becomes a very selfish thing you know you lose sight of relationships with your family your friends and loved ones and and everything else kind of disappears so i try to remain humble and accept that i had a, a very troubled past but that doesn't at all dictate how my future will be and i i personally feel that i'm responsible for the condition that i'm in and um, that my happiness was created organically and so every day I put attention on all these areas of my life equally and never settle for good enough and just keep pushing uh, for it to be the best, you know? Yeah, that's, that's awesome. And you know, one thing that I've learned is that, you know, me being an athlete or if you're just trying to be, you know, a successful person, whatever you go through, you have this addictive personality, right? Oh, one is never enough in right. every aspect in your life. Winning one race wasn't enough, right? I want to win another race, I want to win another race. One workout is not enough. So I want to train hard and keep training like I never got enough of it. So through this process and, and through this program, I realized when you can take the negative addictions, right? remove them and replace them with positive right addictions for the better what did that look like for you to identify remove the negative addictions and replace it with a positive addiction it was it was definitely uh, one of the toughest parts of my recovery i knew i had to discover for the first time uh how i would channel my energy whether it be uh with you know, writing or fitness, you know, I, I got really into fitness after treatment because 
I had never tried it before and thought, okay, well, let me give it a shot and see if I like it. That's awesome. So how did you take your addiction, something that's so negative, and change it around to make it a positive? After I, I finished treatment, I, uh, I got a job as a, a drug and alcohol counselor. Realized that I needed to give back. I needed other people to see what I was able to see and that a new life is definitely attainable and I, I wanted other people to be able to see that having been able to fight that battle and win and that's what I'm able to do every day now. That's awesome man so after everything that you've been through where are you at now like what, what like how, how is life? Well life life now is uh, I mean it's a dream you know I fantasized about this life where um, you know I had a home I had a job and friends and you know I was making movies and having fun and I fantasized about that as, as if I could never achieve it you know and then I look now and it's all the things that I have and it took a, a, a lot of work and you know a good amount of time to get it and I think the biggest uh, progression that I made was when I realized that if there was something about myself that I wanted to change all I had to do was change it and so I went from someone who was afraid and insecure to someone who's confident and eager to confront life and everything it has to uh, to throw my way. Yeah, it's, it's huge. Just life's gonna happen regardless, you know what I mean? Just cause you know you, you changed your life doesn't mean life's gonna change. Like, there's so many people, you know, that I've learned in my life that deal with this problem. What advice would you give to them? I think my advice uh, for anybody dealing with addiction is to know that that there really is life after addiction and that people can live a normal life that they're proud of that's you know that's worth fighting for and that no matter how deep and no matter how dark it's it's become there is always a way to get yourself out of it and create a life of your own and define success for yourself that is attainable and and once you have it it's worth maintaining and working for and fighting for Jeremy Thank you so much, brother, yeah, thank for, your, you. <laughs> for your words of wisdom. Dude, it's so awesome. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for spending the time with thank me, man. You, man. All right, my brother. From Jeremy's story, it's something that I can relate to personally is that a troubled past doesn't dictate your future. Thank you guys so much for watching. If Jeremy's story inspired you so much, share the video with your friends. Don't forget to comment below. And also, subscribe for more episodes every week. This is Patrick Blake Leeper. You're watching Transformation, and I'll see you guys next time.